PAE Systems has delivered an armored multi-purpose vehicle, AMP-V, with a 120mm rapid-firing mortar turret to the U.S. Army. The company developed the vehicle prototype in collaboration with the U.S. Army, Kongsberg, and Patria, who equipped the AMP-V with its remote-controlled NEMO 120mm turreted mortar system. Viewers may note that NEMO, a contraction of new mortar, was developed in the late 2000s. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why BAE's mortar turret equipped armored multi purpose vehicle, AMP V, is vital for the U.S. Army. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The U.S. Army currently operates mortar carriers with tracks, based on the M113 family of armored personnel carriers, as well as those utilizing the 8x8 Striker wheeled armored vehicle design. Both of these mortar carrier vehicles house 120mm mortar tubes within their rear hulls. To deploy the weaponry, crews must initially open large hatches situated on the top of the hulls. This process not only consumes time but also exposes the crew to potential enemy fire. The U.S. Army is acquiring advanced multi-purpose vehicles AMP-V, mortar carrier variants, to mitigate these problems. The new variant aims to replace the existing M113-based models while retaining a similar overall configuration. The M113 is built of 5,083 aircraft-quality aluminum alloy. Aluminum alloy is lighter than steel, but requires around three times the thickness for an equivalent level of ballistic protection meaning the armor of the M113 was only designed for 7.62 mm and shell splinter protection. While an add-on protection package can be added to provide 14.5 mm ballistic protection in certain areas, a modern APC such as the Striker has all-around 7.62 mm armor-piercing protection plus 14.5 mm protection on the front sides and rear, and protection against anti-personnel mines by default. As per reports, the gun has a range of 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles, and its barrel can traverse negative 3 to plus 85 degrees while spouting off 7 shots a minute continuously, or a 3-round burst in just 12 seconds. The development of the AMP-V mortar carrier is driven by the U.S. Army's pursuit of a cost-effective solution to meet the increasing demand for enhanced capabilities and defense through vehicles equipped with comprehensive armor protection. BAE has shared some important details. The company states, the prototype showcases a newly designed top plate system the External Mission Equipment Package XMEP, that allows for the easy installation of a variety of turrets. This vehicle prototype is also outfitted with the Patria Nemo remote-controlled 120mm turreted mortar system. The result of a rapid collaboration technology investment effort involving the U.S. Army, BAE Systems, and Kongsberg slash Patria the prototype demonstrates potential variant growth for the highly adaptable AMP-V family of vehicles. By using a fielded and fully qualified asset like the AMP-V chassis, it gives the Army options to field combat capabilities such as the Patria Nemo to soldiers who need them at a much faster pace and reduced cost. Bill Sheehy, 
BAE Systems, AMP V Program Director, said, handing this remarkable capability over to the Army for evaluation is an important step in creating broader multi-purpose options for soldiers to maintain combat overmatch on the battlefield. The AMP V turreted mortar prototype was born from a capability discussion we had with the Army in 2022. The same year XMEP was conceptualized with industrial partners, and we look forward to its evaluation. The collaborative, future-driven approach to develop it will benefit the warfighter, and that's what the AMP-V program is all about. The company further added, the AMP-V turreted mortar prototype that leverages BAE Systems, XMEP, to rapidly integrate the NEMO 120mm mortar system is an indirect and direct fire support platform that can be used in multi-mission scenarios. The system enables multiple rounds simultaneously impact fire missions, where up to five mortar rounds can hit targets simultaneously in less than four seconds, while the vehicle is stationary or on the move. The AMP-V mortar carrier variant which is one of the five variants currently in production with the Army, is comprised of the legacy 120mm mortar system. This new AMP-V turreted mortar prototype offers a significant enhancement that would not only allow for increased capabilities and force protection, but also keep soldiers completely under the armor protection provided by the vehicle. BAE noted, over the next several months, the Army will run the AMP-V turreted mortar prototype through rigorous field evaluations to mark its capabilities against what soldiers would require in the battlefield. This is the second turreted AMP-V prototype in the last three months that BAE Systems has showcased, the other being a counter-unmanned aircraft system CUAS, capability, that utilizes the XMEP top plate. As the future of battle evolves, the purpose-built framework of the AMP-V platform exemplifies endless opportunities for seamless capability integration for the Army's Armored Brigade Combat Team. In a modern battle space infested with drones, getting out from a vehicle is too dangerous. The crew of a mortar carrier with a Nemo turret can employ the weapon without having to ever leave the vehicle and the protection it offers. With no large hatches to open or close, the time it takes to get the mortar into action, as well as to get it back into a traveling configuration to move to another location, would also be reduced. Moreover, the turret simplifies the process for gunners to transition from engaging one target to another in any direction. It also provides a direct fire capability that's absent in current Army mortar carriers. So the AMP-V mortar carrier variant would be a very important addition for the U.S. Army going forward. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.